This is Math 141, practice test number one. This problem number 12, we're supposed to sketch a graph of this equation. So let me uh, start thinking about where some asymptotes might happen. And I think I'll start with the uh, horizontal asymptote. That's the one that's flat, like the horizon. And uh, horizontal asymptote happens as x gets really large. So those two terms start to dominate, and the other terms take on a slightly, uh, not slightly, uh, insignificant role. So x over x squared reduces to 1 over x. As x gets really large, this thing tends to 0. So there we go. I have a horizontal asymptote right here at x equals 0. So there's my first part. Uh, next part, let's do... Mm, yeah, let's do uh, vertical asymptotes now. Vertical asymptotes uh, happen, they're straight up and down. It's when I try to divide by zero. So vertical asymptotes happen when that equals zero. And notice that factors to x plus two times x minus two. So here's one of them here. <clears throat> and here's the other one here. So. Two and negative two are my vertical asymptotes. Sorry about my voice. So let's see, what else do we need to find? Uh, oh yeah, let's look at some intercepts. Let's see if we can find x-intercepts or y-intercept. Um, and it looks like I'm not going to get much of an x-intercept, my asymptotes there. I'll look at the graph and see what happens. Uh, y-intercept, though. Uh, my y-intercept happens when x equals 0. So if I plug in 0 for x, both of those drop out. I get negative 4 divided by negative 4, which is 1. So this will go through the point 0, 1. And so I might have something in here doing something funky. I'm not sure. You know what? This is pretty good. Like I have all this framed out. I have these labeled. So I think that what I'll do is I'll graph it and just see what the graph, uh, graphing calculator tells me it looks like. Yeah, that, that matches everything. Like there's an asymptote here at negative 2. There's an asymptote here at 2. Goes through 0, 1 up here, and then it makes kind of those right there. Okay, great. So I, I can sketch that. So it looks like the graph then will look something like this and then nested inside these two asymptotes kind of nested inside those two asymptotes so there's a sketch of that graph for number 12. 